Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. Thank you, Cousin Earl, for that fine introduction. Welcome to my channel, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a great Friday. I sure am. And if you're not, I'm going to help you with that. This is the Twin Flames Collective reading for the week of May 16th. Where does the time fly? Where does the time fly? Well, I'll tell you where the time flies. Nowhere, because there is no such thing as time. Ha ha ha. And that actually kind of explains Twin Flames. Here's the thing, guys, about your twin flame. Everybody knows that you and your twin flame are the same soul, right? Okay, well, you already know that your soul incarnates, right? Everybody knows that. Everybody watching this video knows that your soul incarnates. Okay, so your twin flame is just another incarnation of your soul. You and them are the same soul. It's just another incarnation of your soul, guys. It's really not any big deal. The flippin' problem, the reason why you think it's a big deal is because of all the information on the internet about Twin Flames, which is confusing and glorified and they wanna paint a picture like it's this big romance Disney movie kind of thing or something, right? And, you know, it all stems from the little bubble phase at the beginning. We all go through it. There's the bubble phase at the beginning when you first meet them because your ego personality, your mind, is activated by this person's energy and it triggers that emotional response and then the subsequent meltdown of <laughs> said ego personality, right? But... It's because they are you that that is triggered. And what should happen after that is a spiritual awakening. That's what should happen. And if you're watching this video, the chances are you are experiencing that to some degree. You're probably looking around on the internet at spiritual information about Twin Flames and finding a whole bunch of romanticized BS. And I'm, I'm here to take all that out for you so that... You can make sense out of this. You have to get rid of all the romanticized crap about Twin Flames. Guys, again, you already know that your soul incarnates. It's just another incarnation of your soul, guys. And the reason, I guess, that people are confused about what this really is, it's just your soul having another experience, guys. I guess the reason people get confused about that, perhaps, is because when we think of incarnating, we think of reincarnation, which is where you exist in multiple lifetimes, in multiple time periods, supposedly, right? That's supposedly how it works. That's what we've all been told for years, okay? And... How does that work? Well, it works the way that the mind thinks it does, which is linear time. Okay, so I was living this lifetime, and then I died and was reincarnated in this lifetime, and then I died, and then I was reincarnated in this lifetime, and so on and so forth, right? It never occurs to people that there can be an overlap. Why can't there be an overlap? Guys, there is no such thing as time. Albert Einstein is the one who proved that there is no such thing as time. Albert Einstein. There's no such thing as time. So all of your incarnations are existing in the eternal moment of now. Every life you have ever lived, ever in quotation marks, or ever will live, are all happening right now. Time is a function of place. There's actually no such thing as time. So it's just two incarnations of your soul. 
And I want you to look at it that way. Every time you look at this person, go, wait a minute, that's just my soul having another experience. Now, why do they act the way they do? Well, it's because of the ego personality. The ego personality, your ego personality, has been referred to in traditional Zen spiritualism for thousands of years as separation consciousness. Ah, there's that word, separation. It's separation consciousness. So if you see this other person as separate from you, another person, you're going to experience separation, but they're not separate from you. They are you. It's just another incarnation of your soul. And as soon as you stop doing that, as soon as you recognize that it's just your soul having another experience, that's when all that behavior stops, guys. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck, we got Temperance. What's the name of that TV show? I can never remember the. What's the name of that TV show where they're cooking up meth all the time? You guys know what it is. I can never remember the name of that show. And I used to watch it, actually. I don't know. I'm not really that much into television. But this is my TV series tarot deck. This is like Little House on the Prairie or something, right? So we've got the chariot for your connecting energy. Divine masculine, divine feminine over here, right? Temperance at the bottom of the deck. So what's the deal? Well... There's going to be this stop-start energy, and it's not bad, it's not good, it's just what is. And I guess you could say in the grand scheme of things, I mean, if we're looking at this from the standpoint of, I got to get somewhere with this connection, I'm supposed to accomplish something, how do I know when they're coming back, etc., etc., it's a necessary step, right? You can't know who you are unless you know who you are not first. And Divine Masculine is going to be feeling the heat. There's going to be a lot of trials and tribulations coming up thanks to this energy. Now, temperance, well, again, that's exactly where that energy is derived from, okay? This is be patient, take your time, let the magic do the work, let the universe do the work for you, right? Right, okay, so Divine Masculine, okay, We've got the devil in reverse and the six of cups. Well, that smacks of the karmic situation. Exactly. It's an unhealthy attachment. I'm clinging to this idealism about the way things used to be. And I can tell that's what it is too because we got the lovers in reverse in the subconscious over here. That's no surprise. So, you know, that's just a quick review of the past. It's kind of sickening. How Divine Masculine keeps going through these cycles. Now, Divine Feminine, a little different. You've had some very interesting experiences lately. Okay, so in your subconscious, we've got the Hermit. But look at this. The Ten of Cups and the Five of Swords in reverse. Boom! Yeah, that's right. So many of you have probably been approached by other suitors lately. Other romantic interests. It could also be... Uh, new opportunities for growth, a new job, a new group of friends, whatever it is. But generally speaking, in addition to the back and forth trials and tribulations with your twin flame, you've actually been getting noticed lately. Very interesting. You know, take this energy and apply it to your situation. But many of you are having these other experiences. You seem to be attracting new things, new people into your life and dispensing with some of the old, what they call karmic energy. I hate that word, but I think you guys know what I mean by that. Okay, so Divine Masculine, the Seven of Swords, and the Tower in reverse. Ouch! So Divine Masculine, desperate to do whatever they got to do to change their situation. And we just talked about this on Wednesday. Okay, this time, Divine Masculine, going to be finding themselves in a very dishonest way, and it's going to hit them in the face like, I don't know, a baseball bat. <laughs> Ouch, it's going to hurt. That's what you get. That's what you get. So all of those roosters are coming home. Is, is that the phrase? All those chickens are coming home to roost, right? You get what you put in. You put shitty energy out into the universe. You get shitty energy back. Divine masculine, shame on you. Shame on you, buddy boy. Look at this. Divine Feminine, two of wands in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse. Right, so this is a letting go 
of the modality of doing thinking. Um, I have to acquire being. I have to acquire uh, consciousness, my soul, which is who I am, which is my twin flame. Um, accepting the magic of the universe. Looking at synchronicities a little differently. Guys, magic is technology. It's not really magic. It's just science undiscovered. They call it magic because it seems mysterious. And let's face it, our whole lives, we've been spoon-fed all this crap about how there's no such thing as ghosts and you're not a soul. Nobody knows what happens to you when you die. There's no UFOs, aliens, all that's, you know, a bunch of baloney, right? It's you're crazy if you believe that stuff. You guys know that's true. You know the law of attraction is real. You know that you're going to attract these things into your life if you just be that energy. And that's all this is. Now, this is why divine masculine is having to trip over their feet so much, having to go through all these changes. Of course, they're going to be hitting you up pretty soon. It looks like, I mean, there's this ace of cups at the bottom of the deck or at the most likely outcome. But guys, here's the thing. They're only doing that because you are. The more that you align with your soul, the more that you remember who you really are, that's when they show up. Remember, you and your twin flame are the same soul. That's all this is, guys. That's all this is. That's why you're looking at things like the law of attraction, manifesting. You're having these deeper spiritual experiences. You're attracting all these other situations, people into your life. That's why there's such a shakeup with divine masculine, guys. Okay, You are them. You're one energy. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's all there is to it, guys. And as always, if you want to work with me, if you want to work with the best, you know where to find me, guys. NewWorldAllStar.com. When you sign up for my Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package today and through the month of May, use this coupon code MURICA at the checkout when you pay in full for my Introduction to the Journey online video course. And get 25% off all through the month of May when you pay in full, guys. It's Memorial Day coming up on May 31st. So in observance, I'm offering 25% off all month long when you pay in full. The Introduction to the Journey online video course, over 10 hours of instructional videos. I leave no stone unturned, guys. That's a lot of videos to watch. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to make the necessary lifestyle changes to shift energetically into a higher consciousness, which is your soul, which is your twin flame. Of course, they will unblock you. They'll start talking to you again, but that's not even the best part, guys. The best part is what you become. It's not what you get, okay? When you become the energy of soul, of course, you're gonna attract your soul, your twin flame, but it's all the other things, guys. It's how you feel. It's how you look at things. You look at everything differently. You feel better. Sign up today, guys. And that's not all. When you're done watching the instructional videos, you and I get to talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting on my Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System. Up to four calls a week, guys. That's like eight additional hours of coaching every single week. Oh, my God. Oh my God, that's so much of stuff, Kurt, for so little money. How do you do it? I don't know, guys. I just feel like doing it like that. There's twin flame coaches out there that are charging $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $6,000. What the hell is that? You got to be $6,000? Fuck that shit. No, my course is a few hundred bucks, and right now, you get 25% off when you use the aforementioned coupon code at the checkout. And that's not all. That's not all. If you still cannot afford my already very reasonable prices, no problem. I do have payment plans. You can sign up today for 60 or 70 bucks, depending on which package you get. I'll take the total package price and break it down into six easy to digest payments. Sign up today, guys. You get full access to everything up front including myself and my two lovely coaches assisting me. Let's do this Oracle card, guys. What's going on, Twin Flamers? What's up with the Twin Flame Collective? Oh, oh snap. That's a sparky one. What do we got today? 
Oh, miracles. I believe in miracles. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, 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 uh. All right. What's up with miracles? Divine masculine. Hey, we've been talking about that this whole time. Magic is just science undiscovered. Magic is just science undiscovered. You guys should write that down. Magic is just science undiscovered. Where's it at? Did I pass it? Miracles. Miracles. Miracles are changes of perception. And Metatron wishes you to know that like the miracle of newborn life, you are bringing your creative force to the fore. Do anticipate a miracle occurring. For when we open ourselves to miracles, we relinquish our fear of God, our fear to God, to Metatron who stands on the right hand of the divine. Therefore, open your mind to the possibility of any challenge you may be having you may have being lifted from your shoulders, and when you have to let it go, the source will gift you with unexpected joy. Exactly, guys. And listen, listen to what they said at the beginning. Miracles are changes of perception. Miracles are changes of perception. Guys, perception is consciousness. It's seeing, right? That's what that is. That's your soul and it's technology. Consciousness, which is the soul, which is your twin flame, by the way, is what causes manifestation. Look at this, divine masculine. <sighs> What's the word? Um, foobar? Uh, uh, in a, uh, un, un, um, repaired beyond or uh, damaged beyond repair, uh, trapped beyond belief. I can't get out. There's no way to fix it. That's not true, but that's kind of how they feel subconsciously. It's all a lie, guys. Look at this, the Ace of Cups next to the Eight of Wands in reverse, right? So Divine Masculine feeling the urge to reach out to Divine Feminine. They know their cup is full and they want to do it why aren't they doing it? Because they feel trapped. Maybe they think you're going to be mad at them. Maybe you think, maybe, maybe they think that you're going to bite their head off. I don't think you will, but whatever. Let the universe do the magic, divine feminine. That's what I'm always telling you guys. And I know you will. We got the queen of wands right there for you, divine feminine in your subconscious. And then here we've got the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups in reverse. Exactly. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This whole row of cards is talking about the technology of magic, of consciousness, it's not really magic. It's science, guys. I don't need to do much to manifest. I am the master of my world, okay? Miracles, manifestations are your perception. It's how you see things. It's what you believe. But there is a conscious believer. That's you, Divine Feminine. You follow me here? I thought so. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe, because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, you will not get notifications whenever I post one of my lovely videos. Also, please hit the like button, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Masculine, and I'll see you then. Bye.